Hello guys, what's up? This is Kiki. Today we want to watch Ron White. This is I got thrown out of a bar on since 2011. Let's give it a shot. I got thrown out of a bar in New York City. <laughs> now, when I say I got thrown out of a bar, I don't mean somebody asked me to leave. We walked to the door together and I said, bye everybody, I gotta go. <laughs> Six bouncers hurled me out of a nightclub like I was a Frisbee. Those big old bouncers that go home every night watch Roadhouse and beat off. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> Patrick Swayze's hitting another guy. <laughs> For wearing a hat. I walk into a bar with a hat on. This guy real pissy goes, took off the hat. <laughs> I'm like, what's the deal? He goes, I'll tell you what the deal is. Faggots in this area wear hats. We're trying to keep them out of a club. I'm like, oh, really? The only way we could tell down south is if they have their hair cut like your. <laughs> and he got all pissed. <laughs> but he walked away, and I took the hat off, and like an hour later, I'd been drinking, and I forgot. You ever forget? It happened to me. I put the hat back on, the guy comes over to me. Now, I'm between 6'1 and 6'6, depending on which convenience store I'm leaving. I weigh 235 pounds. This guy comes over to me, poking me in the shoulder with two fingers, says, you're out of here. I'm like, I don't think so, Scooter. <laughs> and I was wrong. <laughs> they hurled my ass. And then they squared off with me in the parking lot, and I backed down from the fight, because I don't know how many of them it would have taken to whip my ass. But I knew how many they were going to use. It's a handy little piece of information to have right there. Overkill. Well, they called the police because we broke a chair on the way out the door and I refused to pay for it. And the cops showed up and at that point, I had the right to remain silent, but I didn't have the ability. <laughs> the cop says, Mr. White, you are being charged with drunk in public. I was like, hi, 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 hi. I was drunk in a bar. They threw me into public. I don't want to be drunk in public. I want to be drunk in a goddamn bar, which is perfectly legal. Arrest them. Well, he didn't arrest them. Instead, they call in for my arrest record. There's some good news. Satellites are linking up in outer space. Computer banks at NASA are kicking on. There's a telegraph in Fritch, Texas going beep 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 Shorthand. <laughs> Beep. Now, I told you that story to tell you this story. When I was 17 years old, I was arrested for being drunk in public. It seemed to be a pattern. If you knew Morse code, you would already know that. And one DWI, which was a bogus charge, because it turns out they were stopping every vehicle traveling down that particular sidewalk. <laughs> and that's profiling, <laughs> I believe. And the drunken public charge in Fritz, the arresting officer, who I had literally known all my life. You know what I mean? This guy lived four doors down from me in a town of less than 400 people. We've met. <laughs> he takes me to jail. When we get there, he asks me if I have any aliases, and I was just being a smart ass and said, yeah, 
They call me Tater Sally. <laughs> 17 years later in New York City, I'm handcuffed on a bench with blood coming out of my nose. This cop goes, are you Ron Tater Salad White? <laughs> you caught me. You caught the tater. You can take down those roadblocks now. I call my son Tater Tot. <laughs> and Poot. Okay. Um, that was interesting. It's a little harder to understand. And he was smoking on the stage. Fun. I think it was the New York stage, I believe. Um, well, it was fun to watch. Um, if you have more recommendation, please let me know in the comment below. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Bye-bye. Thank you for watching my video. If you like this video, please click the like button below and subscribe to my channel. Bye-bye.